My friend's gonna defend her PhD, and you better be nice. My girl is the first black woman to defend her PhD at Mila, which is kind of crazy considering Mila is one of the most prestigious AI research institutes in the world. Now, as someone that wants to do a PhD one day, I was taking notes. She had an hour to present, an hour for jury questions, and the verdict came in, and she passed with flying colors. Everybody say congrats to Dr. Lazare. We gave her her flowers, took some pictures, and then it was time for the after party. Mo is someone that pours into people. I know my masters at Mila wouldn't have been the same without her. Her. So it was great to see her family, colleagues, friends all show up and show out for her. I was trying not to cry during her dad's speech, but it really don't take much for me. Mila's VP of Talent and Scientific Director also gave speeches, and then it was time for trivia, which got super competitive. And of course, we ended off the night dancing, which was such a vibe. Moments like this are exactly why representation matters. It's the people, the shared culture, and that sense of belonging that make grad school, which is hard enough already, actually feel bearable. Even though it's been a year and a half since I graduated and moved back to Toronto, I never got that alumni outcast feeling. All I had to do was ask for a games night before I headed back and they made it happen, no questions asked. Great food, good banter, and laughing so hard I caught a headache. I love that for us.